Hi there and welcome learn with us how to. So today we have a problem that we have been working for two hours right now. So, so what I did is I got a new graphic card and I tried to remove the old graphic card from my PC behind here and put the new one, but it brings me a black screen. So the steps that I'm gonna tell you right now would help you out to get it working instead of the black screen. So here, is the uh is the motherboard and everything the case so what i did uh what you need to do is you just need to remove the graphic card just remove it this is the old one actually and this is the new one so before installing the new one what you need to do is just come here remove it uh, remove the old one and uh, unplug the power and unplug everything and then after that just try to uh, be sure, uh, I mean, sorry, when you remove it, before that you have to... All right, so this is the case, and this is the old mother, uh, old graphic card, and this is the new graphic card. So what I did is I just um, unplugged everything, right? And then after that, removed that old graphic card, just kept it there, and plugged everything back, and just kept it without, as you can see here, the graphic card is not there at all. So this is the motherboard and everything. And so what I did is started the computer. Just make sure that when you start it, you just need, because there's no graphic card here, right? So just the HDMI should be connected to the motherboard. So after connecting to the motherboard, start the computer and see this is, okay, so I started the computer. So um, what I need to do right now is, so this is how it is. So what I'll do is I'll just go to control panel as you can see here right now I don't know why it is slow it's maybe because my hard disk is really full so we'll just go to control panel here okay so we got it here it's opening okay so this is the screen we get just click on system display sound notification so yeah so what happened this is the third time that I'm just restarting the computer again and again because I don't know it gets to it to when I try to get into in here, uh, the screen gets um, you know, different colors, different colors, it's like scrambling. So I have to restart it and just go again. Now if you see here, it's hanged up. I think it's because my hard disk is really full. Uh, I think that would be the reason. I don't think it might be because I removed the graphic card, but it might also be an issue. So we'll just wait here till all it opens. So what you can also do is you can just write device manager here at the top in the search. Right, that, that's where you can get it. Also, the thing you can also go here on the start, the side here on the search here down. And you can also write device manager and it goes up there. So let's click it up. Let's click it and see what happens, what comes up. So this is what comes up after we click on device manager. So we'll just go on to display adapter as you can see here. That's the one here, display. And here, see, this is the motherboard uh, uh, graphic card. So what you can do is you can just disable it. So disabling it, and then you'll get this screen and you just click yes. Okay, so now it is disabled. As you can see here, there's a sign here, a little bit small. This one here, it means that it's disabled. So now what we can do is just restart the computer or just switch off the computer first of all. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and shut it down. Shut down the PC. Shut down, make sure it's shut down, right? So here it's shutting down. So the next step after that, when we shut it down, just make sure that it's off completely. And just wait for a few seconds. I'm gonna go back here to another board. Okay. Okay. Now, as soon as we make sure that it's off, so what we just will what we'll just do is just to completely disconnect the power, right? And. We can just remove the HDMI from the graphic card from the motherboard, sorry. And now we'll try, this is the old graphic card as I said, we'll just try to connect the new graphic card, which is Gigabyte. 
Okay, so we'll just connect this. See, now this one here needs two. So we'll just connect two of these together. And just put them in, in here. Or maybe just put one by one. So yeah, see here. Just sorry. So let's do again. Okay. And put this one here next to it. You can attach them while beginning so that they can align with each other. So what I'll do, I'll just remove it again. Make sure they're aligned. So I attach them together now here to them. So it's gonna work now. Let's see a one ten. Okay, so right now it's everything is set up. So the next step after I make sure that everything is connected. The next step is that connect the DVI. I mean, I just want to try it before I just go ahead and, you know, close the case. Just close this side here and connect the DVI. What I do, frankly, I just connect the HDMI too because I have two screens. So, let's see, connect the power. set up and let's see just click click on the power here and let's see if this works or not okay I see some screaming coming up here if not then As I see the process here, it means that it will work. It means it's amazing, really. I tried several ways, and this is the way it worked. Uh, finally. So, what I'll do is I'll just, I don't know what I'll do this, it will work, I don't know. Let's try to start or whatever. So, let's see. I have a website called Ca, something like Kiji, so I'll just put it there. That's my website. I have also a linky dot store. I put it there. So if you guys have anything you want to post for free, it's harajsimsara.com. So I'll put the link below this video. Right. So it is starting. And looks like working. The fan is working. The motherboard fan is working power supply fan is working so now it's starting so with this graphic card a CD came so we'll, as soon as I get in I'll just put the CD on and let's see what happens so I'll just wait for it to start so now as I'm sure that it's working and it started working here so what I'll do is I can just close the case and you know, first of all, shut down everything and you know, close the case and you know, get it ready and start working. But I want to try one thing. I have a hard disk from another computer. So I just want to add it here to see if it is going to work. Now it has a window system in it too. So I don't know if that's going to work, but I will try to attach it right now and see if it is going to work. Because when I tried before, I still get the black screen, but now we resolve the black screen issue. We'll just add that hard disk and see if it is still going to open or not. Okay, so now it's on. Now we just need to use the CD that came with it. So we'll just let me rise and see. Oh, it's 
so tourist gigabyte graphic drive utility so we inserted the drive I'll just say it's doing a scanning DVD recommended removable device let's click on this and here's scan device I don't think we need to scan it just new oops where's the run setup it's gone so a run setup just came up here um, it's gone so let's go to we just go to the drive PC here this would be the one let's go to here so just click install or run program from your media so we're gonna install the drive go ahead and do that so this is what we get gigabyte recommends Google Drive on safe place for all your safe your stuff so install display driver errors Google Google toolbar I don't want Google toolbar I already am already using one drive it's more than enough for me I have an email of I created Google a long time back ago and a hacker hacked it and I just told him to close it when everything is set up I got the email and everything password back and everything I sort it up um, those guys just didn't return it and I it's already eight years or nine years I'm trying to reach them all the times and they don't want to get my email back Google so yeah I don't trust them that much anymore Hotmail is since the beginning I'm there with them and they're amazing so the Google email is not important for me okay so we'll wait for it to get to get downloaded this is the message I'm getting right now set of files are corrupted please obtain a copy of the programs <laughs> 